What is up everyone? Mike here with the Golf Podcast. Today I'm at my local range here, Darlington, and today I'm going to take you through my 2018 edition of What's in the Bag. So of course, as you saw from previous vlogs, we went through huge changes this year equipment wise from the clubs to the bag and especially the things that we have in the bag. So let's get out there and I'll walk you through it. Sixty-five degrees in November in New Jersey. All right, so today I'm going to take you through my entire bag. Now, 2018 was a huge equipment change year from the clubs to the balls to even the bag. So, what I'm going to do is take you through everything the clubs I'm playing, the balls I'm playing, and everything else that we talk about on the golf podcast a lot, like the little extras that I have inside the bag. So, let's do it. All right, let's start from the top. So, driver. We were just fitted not too long ago for the TS. So this is what I've been playing for about five or six rounds now. I'm gonna take you through this in depth in a little bit, and we're gonna hit a bunch. We have the 917F. Don't really have a lot of use for my three wood. I don't really hit it much, as you'll see. I am starting to hit it a little bit more, but I didn't feel the need to really jump to the TS model just yet on that. So we're still using the 917 there. I've got two hybrids here, the, uh, the H2 23 degree, as well as the 21 degree. And then the irons, of course, the AP3s. These things have been money. They've been really super sleek, uh, really pretty clubs. They strike the ball well. Uh, my ball striking, distance, everything is improved. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some stats in a minute on that. Then, of course, we have the wedges. We got the Vokies. We have the 48, the 56, and the 60, all with its custom stamping. And I know you've seen those in our fitting and unboxing videos, but uh, they've been in play for quite a, uh, some time now, and short game is money. So money right now. I'm kind of sad that it's November and the season's coming to an end here because everything is clicking. And then last, the eyesore. For me, great putter, great company. Not knocking ping, but it's a hand-me-down had the putter for uh, quite some time. It's an old answer too. Uh, really nothing too fancy about it. I uh, kind of really want a Scotty Cameron. I'm just gonna throw it out there. So uh, yeah, get Mike a Scotty. That's, uh, that's on my list. All right, so let's take a couple of cuts. First, we're gonna start with the TS driver. A lot of you have been asking, where's the Bumblebee setup? Did that break three? 115, 3600 spin. 285 carry 310 total. <laughs> Give me the bumblebee setup. <laughs> it's still here. I still have it, but I'm not playing it right now. Great club, and I'm not giving it up. Great thing about this driver, and I've noticed from my shot scope dashboard, as you can see, I'm hitting more fairways. Percentage has gone up uh, dramatically as, uh, as a result of making the switch to the TS, but distance was the big thing for me. Uh, keeping the ball a little further into the fairway, a lot of my pushes are right, been a huge thing. Uh, but distance, I have a bunch of over 300 yard drives. I did not see that with my previous driver before switching to Titleist. So let's take a few. All right, so that's driver. I trust it, trust it a lot. I use it, I use it a lot. Um, but I wanna talk about the three wood because this is a club, like I said, I normally never played. I'd always have trouble topping this, uh, not trusting it at all, leaving it in the bag. In fact, last season, I even took my three wood out and replaced it with another hybrid. But ever since getting fitted for this, I love it and I do rely on it. I use it a lot more often. All right, let's jump to the AP3 irons. First, I wanna start with the eight. It's been my most, uh, I guess, trustworthy club, kind of my go-to. Anytime I'm 170, 165, 175 out, I always get excited. You know, actually, it's funny, because uh, if, if you kind of flash back to our Sleepy Hollow playing lesson video with Kevin Sprecker, I had one shot with my eight iron, I put it to 12 feet, and all because of my balance and rotation. As soon as you start rotating, you hit eight irons to 12 feet. See that? <laughs> it's that simple. Yep, ever since then, I love it. I love these mid irons. So let me give you a little sneak peek.
Nice. Let's talk about this guy. Five iron, a club that I've never played with, ever. I've always had six iron up because I've always trusted my hybrids. Sprecker put me in a five iron. I'm gonna show you how I hit it. It's about 200, 205, 210 club. Again, nice little solid cut shot on it. Uh, I do rely on it a lot, especially on par fives. All right, now I'm gonna take you through the Vokey wedges. This is the 48, kind of my go-to for many kinds of shots. Full shot is a 130. Uh, I like to do the knockdown shot. If I'm maybe 100 in the fairway, I gotta keep it low. I'll tend to use this club. Bump and runs off the green with a slope up. I will tend to use this one as well. So I'm gonna demonstrate those three shots uh, and show you how I use this club, but I do use this one a lot. And in fact, on the shot scope dashboard, you can earn medals, which I love. I love the medals thing. It kinda shows you that your game is improving. Uh, I've earned many medals, including uh, up and downs. I had eight up and downs in one round uh, as a result of, of this club, as well as proximity to the hole medals, uh, I think down to 15 feet. So, you know, anytime you get to a certain range, you earn a different medal for proximity to the hole and hundreds of other different metals. So that's another cool aspect of shot scope that I like. But let's take a couple. This is the 100 yard knockdown. And now my bump and run. My Vokies. All right, so that's it for clubs. Now I wanna take you inside the bag where all the good stuff is. Uh, and we just got these bags not too long ago, as you saw on our YouTube channel. We unboxed these beautiful vessels, which I'm absolutely loving. This is actually the first time I'm getting out of the house. And it looks pretty out here on the range. A lot of people are checking it out. Um, but uh, let's go in and let's first start with golf balls. Now, as you guys have known, uh, just by listening to the podcast all these years, I've always been a pro V1 guy. But lately, I've been playing the old 2019 Pro V1s. The prototypes, which I play them, and when I'm done with them, I put them right back in here. So, these have been a lot of fun. Uh, golf balls for me, always Pro V1. I will play a Pro V1X every now and then, but for me, always Pro V1. All right, probably the most important thing, and I never leave the house without it before I go play around the golf, in this trusty little magnet pocket is my ShotScope B2. The ShotScope B2 is something I've been playing with for about 10 rounds now. I absolutely love it. We talk about it all the time on the golf podcast in our stat segment because it's important to identify the holes in your game, areas that you need to improve. Maybe you need to get fitted. You don't know these things until you actually figure out where your holes in your game are. Plus, it's a GPS watch. Keeps your stats, keeps your score. It's awesome. I even include an extra battery pack. I plug it in after a round, plug it in overnight this way throw the bag in the car, I know my shot scope is charged. The course I'm playing is usually loaded up because it's all Bluetooth and we're ready to go. Okay, a lot of you ask, what do you do for nourishment on the course? You know, most of you know me as an egg whites guy. I'll eat that before the round, but while I'm out there, I always go Quest Bar. I always have a few in there. This isn't a paid endorsement. I just love these things. So, Quest Bar for me. And then now that we're uh, trickling into the cold season, there's still plenty of golf left despite it being cold. I always throw in a golficity hat, snow hat, something to cover the ears, and I'm pretty much all set. I haven't thrown the rain gloves or anything in there yet, uh, but I do have them. It's just a matter of me stuffing them in here. But for now, this is my setup, and uh, yeah, nice and light and easy. All right, so that is it for my 2018 edition of What's in the Bag. Uh, probably gonna change next year. Don't know what's coming out and what we're gonna be fitted for, but this is it for now. I am absolutely loving everything in here. Couldn't be more happy or more confident with the clubs that I have. So uh, quickly, just post a comment here below in this video. Let me know what your setup is or what setup you would like to have. Uh, I'd love to hear what you're, what you're going with, bags, what's in the bag, more importantly. I'm always curious to know what other people are bringing out there. It always kind of gives me an idea. Hey, maybe I should go buy that. Uh, so definitely do that. Thanks for tuning in. In. I'm gonna go hit a couple more. Now I just want to go out there and play. 